how can we push for inclusive growth? What is the way that we can bridge this gap? How can we make sure that as we are growing, everyone else is growing? 1.5 hectares is not sustainable. The average income of a farmer from his produce is 23,000 pesos a year. Kailangan natin tutukan ang ugat ng sunod na ito na may angat ang kita at labanan ang gutom at kahirapan sa mga pagpapaunlad ng basa tulad ng Pilipinas. GK Social Entrepreneur Bongo. So ang gagawin, ang ipinupos ko po ay pag-aalaga ng, ang, ng world class product which is ang pambansang pagkain ng Pilipino ay lechon talaga, lechon baboy. So pag binivelop po natin yan, tayo lang po makakaproduce ng world class product na pwede natin i-export sa ibang mga isa. is lechon with a Z. With a Z. They've decided that they will source yung kanilang mga baboy mula sa mga farmers ng Pilipino. Uh, di pambansang lechon of LRs na like and we will be doing the dispersal of hybrid and native pigs all over the country so that we can also eat the... Uh, we'll make it KFC, we can have also our Pambansang Baboy. Ang programa po natin ay parang ano talaga, uh, alleviate poverty in the Pilipinas. Which is why, dear friends, our office is now concentrating, or has chosen to concentrate on inclusive growth as our main agenda in the Senate. Inol ka din sa program na yun uh, Itong project na Pambansang Baboy I think ang pinakamahalaga dyan Yung konsepto nila, yung idea nila Na gagawin nilang organic Kasi marami tayong baboy dyan na kinakain Maraming dumi yan eh Maraming chemicals, maraming hormones At iba pa, madumi At tapos kinukuha niya Karamihan ng kanya mga supply Yung mga baboy sa mga mahihirap uh, mas healthier siya compared sa conventional. Ano bang ina-expect natin ng partnership with DAR in terms of uh, multiplication of the project? Inahabol na namin dito ng GK kung ilang, ilang farmers ang matutulungan ito sa programa. So parang we kinocompute po namin siya for 200 to 300 heads per cycle para ma-justify kung ilan mo nila gawin ang ipagalang. Actually, yeah, yeah. Prenesan ko yung concept at saka yung setup sa ibang sa Mindanao. Gusto nila yung, ano, yung natural na ito ang ipari. Global warming is real, and we humans are almost certainly the cause. 18% of global greenhouse gases are caused by livestock farming. 18% is quite a lot. It has to do with the fact that in this assessment we took into account, look, the production of animals in terms of methane, the manure management in terms of also methane and nitrous oxides. Yeah, we all know that uh, livestock agriculture is one of the major uh, contributors of uh, greenhouse gases. Now, the natural farming uh, system conceptualized by uh, Pambansang Baboy program would be uh, complemented also with uh, the installation of uh, biogas systems. Natural farming system wherein animals uh, are actually uh, uh, subsisting on uh, vegetable-based diets you know, would be a very uh, helpful uh, uh, technology towards uh, preserving the lifespan of our planet. project. a GK Social Entrepreneurship Program to address the supply needs of Nag-i-invest sa mga breeder farms sa ibang lugar, ito yung sa, sa Pora, Pampanga. Ito ang breeder farm ng Pambansang Baboy. May 39 na kaming nanganak at ito ay 200 sa level. Ang LRs po, pinakamasarap na litson, kaya dito po ay ginagawa na rin sa Enchanted Farm. No? At uh, ito po yung ginagawa na yung pambansang litson. No? Pambansang litson dahil makabayang baboy. 
Ang lahat po, kasi ang goal namin is magkaroon kami ng dispersal ng mga native pigs sa mga farmers dito. We only have one country. And uh, seryoso po kami sa pangako namin sa aming mga anak, mga apo, that we will work together to end poverty by 2024. So, uh, keep on doing the good work because now we have the faith and the trust of the whole global community.